Yo, one thing that kind of caught my attention, and I'm still kind of laughing about it, was on the Colin Cowherd show. There's this guy named Nick Wright, and he well, during the moratorium after Durant announced that he was going to sign with the Warriors, Nick Wright came up with an idea. What if Kevin Durant did the same thing DeAndre Jordan is did, like promise that you would sign with the Warriors? And then, oh, okay, we'll make room for you. We'll get rid of Harrison Barnes, Andrew Bogut, Festus Azili, blah, blah, blah. And at the very end, like, just change his mind and not sign with the Warriors. That's what Nick Wright said. I mean, it was very unlikely. Excuse my language. It's the bitch move. But it was still possible. It's possible. It's been done before. And at the end of the day, it, the rant, he has to... Go with a story like, oh, I was never going to leave to begin with. I just pretending I was going to leave to screw over the Warriors. Like, look at them. They lost their best players to, now to, to um, this or that other team. I just screwed over those tech jackasses. <laughs> now that made me laugh. Yeah, tech jackasses. I mean, yeah, I'm from the Bay Area. Yeah, I'm from the Silicon Valley. What not. I grew up around and near the companies. So many companies based around here, like Yahoo, Google, Facebook, Amazon, wait, I don't know Amazon, um, Apple, LinkedIn, and tech workers, yeah, they earn their stripes, they're smart, they got engineering degrees, computer science degrees, they're good business people, they make apps, they make your chips and motherboards and computer programs and so much more. I mean, both of my parents were tech workers at one point. Actually, my dad still is. But tech jackasses, now that term is kind of funny to me. Well, it's kind of really demeaning to label someone as a tech jackass. But you gotta admit, it's kind of an elitist culture. Like, tech jobs pay very well. Over 100k. And because of so many tech workers here, like, there's so much gentrification. It drives up the property values of the houses and like the poor people who I mean the people who used to live in those neighborhoods they have no choice but to move out and in comes the fancy food in comes the shopping experiences like you wonder how uh, the Golden State Warriors make record profits from the playoffs and the finals that's because they drove up the price is super high because people can afford it. People can are willing to pay for it. And my brother complained, oh no, it drives out the real fans. They can't afford to go to the games anymore. Blah, blah, blah. It's like a bunch of bandwagon fans. You only liked them recently and they can't end up for the tickets. Well, it is what it is. It's business. It's capitalism. They want to make more money. So that's what they do within their right. I mean, it's not the most fun thing, but you can't stop them. You know? And in fact, they're going to build an arena in San Francisco that will house even less people. Like, Oracle Arena now houses ni over 19,000, near 20,000. The one in San Francisco will be obviously maybe less accessible or a little bit farther, and it can only hold 17,000. And because there's less seats, there's going to be more, so each seat is more valuable, more expensive, right? Yes, so that's all due to those tech jackasses. <laughs> Just kidding. Wait, wait, I, uh, they're, they're all right in my book.